We wow. are back. Look, millions of students take the SATs uh, every year, which I we I was so nervous about taking those tests. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of those millions, about 2,000 actually achieve the perfect score. That's here not with very us many. today, no, it's not. That's oh. a very low percentage. Well, here today is one of those students who earned the perfect score, and then he went on to develop an SAT prep course that's going to help your child hopefully get that perfect score. Welcome, Sean Patel, who is here. Sean. That's the book. Yeah, Hi, so, happy to be here. Um, I need to get one thing straight first. Sorry. About the word that we have up on our refrigerator. You need to get one thing straight. Yeah. 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 Yes. So earlier, Marty said that lugubrious means talkative, and I didn't want to make him feel bad, so I agreed. Lugubrious yeah. means sad or mournful, and now I'm lugubrious that Marty was thinking of loquacious, which means talkative. Oh, I'm you know what? Now. Yeah, I'm sorry, we like to yeah. make we, <laughs> yours. Well, yeah. So, no, you don't understand. We you. around here like to make him feel bad. Yeah. So you can go ahead and make. No, one. I'll but join you the party what? then. <laughs> You're such a gentleman, no, and you didn't it. want to make him feel bad on television. I wasn't loquacious enough. No, no there you go. Uh, <laughs> all right. So <laughs> it's, um, apparently uh, we all, because I didn't know what it meant. So I should be starting start studying for the SATs. Huh? When should, as parents are raising their kids, say, listen, it's now's a good time. Yeah, so there's a common myth among high school counselors that to, you should take the SAT at the end of your junior year. And that's just been wisdom passed down from high school counselor to high school counselor because that's when students have finished Algebra 2. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of parents think that you need Algebra 2 for the SAT, but that's not really true. Uh, in fact, in our course and in my book, um, we hardly use any algebra at all. We try to help students forget about the algebra. And so you can take the SAT a lot sooner, um, even as in 10th grade or early 11th grade. And right now is the perfect time for students to be preparing for the SAT because it's summer. They've got plenty of time. You know, in the spring, it gets so busy. Some students have AP exams and finals and extracurriculars and sports. And so they just don't have enough time to prepare for the SAT, which is this important exam that they really need to put time into. So you're saying to start to prepare to study for your SATs, you should do it in your sophomore year or not? I think that sophomores becoming juniors right now, it's the best time right now because uh, there's this test called the PSAT. Have you heard of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very similar to the SAT. It's five sections instead of 10 sections. It's essentially an easier version. And they're going to be taking it in October. So they're going to be taking it second week of October. And they can register for their SAT in the first week of October. So if they prepare for the SAT right now, they can take both tests in those two weeks and kill two birds with one stone. Can we, uh, just to set the record straight, because having a perfect score, some people are going to be watching this and going, well, he's gifted. He's one of those genius you know, guys who got everything right. Are, uh, clarify, yeah, were you one of those? 2,000 people. Yeah, so uh, when people look at me now, they see sort of my success and what I've done, and, and they automatically assume that I just went in and took the SAT and got a perfect 2,400. But that's not the case at all. Uh, in high school, I was really an average student. Um, I grew up in my parents' motel. I went to urban public schools. On my first practice SAT, I scored a 1760, uh, which is a little bit above average. Average is around 1500. So I wasn't, you know, in the elite group yet. Um, but then I worked really hard and prepared for the SAT a lot, and I eventually got that perfect score, which led to uh, admission into prestigious universities, into uh, $230,000 in college scholarships, which my parents were very happy about. Wow. Yeah. And well, how, I, go ahead. Oh, and I even got to meet the President of the United States. So a lot of because cool stuff. Because you got a perfect stuff. score? Uh, oh. it, yeah, it happens. <laughs> well, did you, have, did you have tutors? How did you prepare for these tests? What do you do? Do you hire tutors? Do you go to a special learning center? What do you do? So I put a lot of time in at the library and sat with tons of books, prepped for this exam because my high school English and math classes weren't enough. Um, you know, I commend my high school English and math teachers so much for all of my academic success, but unfortunately, SAT prep wasn't something uh, on that list. Uh, you know, I had to prepare for SAT out of high school, and a lot of parents are under the impression that high school is enough uh, for the exams, but it's really not, so you've got to prepare for it outside. Oh, it, uh, what do you actually prepare for? What is the strategy? Would you have to do more vocabulary? You're saying not to do math. I know essays are really important. So what are you focusing yeah. on? Yeah, so a couple really good strategies. Um, the, the SAT is now on a 2400 scale instead of 1600, and a new section on it is the SAT essay. Why did so, they raise it? Yeah, I know. Uh, they yeah. make it tougher for the new kids. Okay, so but um, yeah, so 
we want students to write long SAT essays. That's a huge, huge strategy. The reason for that is an MIT study actually found that longer essays get higher scores. And so what I did when I was preparing for the SAT, I realized that all of my essays were looking the same after I had been um, doing practice ones. And so I made a template for students that is actually in the book, as well as in the course, that students can just plug in what they know and get really high scores on the essay. How long, what are you talking about a long essay? Five pages, 10 pages? So you get two pages. You two get two pages, pages during okay. your SAT. And you got 25 minutes, though. So you got 25 minutes to write two full pages on a topic you've never seen before. And so that's kind of tough, right? What was yours? Uh, my topic was something about uh, authority and how it affects society. But the nice thing is, it's not going to be a topic about 1984, the novel, or World War II. Or it's not going to be something specific. It's going to be a very general topic. And that's why our SAT template that I've created works so well for students, because it's a general topic, so they can use a general template. You've talked about 1984. What, are there myths that exist around this test? Oh, yeah. There's uh, huge, huge myths that a lot of parents and students believe. Um, the one that we already spoke about is that high school math and English classes are enough to prepare you for the exam. And that's just a huge myth in that students go in thinking that, you know, 30, 40 years ago, a lot of people could go in and not prepare for the SAT. It was just something you did on Saturday. But now, with college admissions being so competitive, students need to prepare for this exam outside of the classroom. Well, how can we as parents help our children? Uh, the biggest thing that I think and that I encourage parents to do is to encourage their students to be self-motivated. And what I mean by that is, while it's great that you know, your parents want you to do well when you're a high school student, it's even better if the student wants to do well on the SAT. So the parent can encourage their student to identify three goals on why they want to score well on standardized exams. So mine in high school were, I wanted to get into a competitive university, I wanted to get scholarships, and I wanted to be competitive among my classmates. So once students have their own goals and become self-motivated, it's a lot more effective. And today you do, uh, other than your book and talking about this, what are you pursuing? Oh, yeah. So I am in medical school right now. And I'm at the University of Southern California. And so I guess you could say I have quite a bit of free time uh, <laughs> between SAT yeah. and medical yeah. school. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you for yeah. that. Hopefully this has helped, uh, yes. you know, and now's the time. Absolutely, right? now is Take the time. Take advantage of it. For more information on Sean's SAT prep course, go to veritasprep.com. Thank you. Um, after the break, we're going to find the perfect wedding bands for Gabby and Charlie's big day, which is right